normally just read these children's books, but I thought I would tell a little bit about this one. This book is uh, something different that I've never tried before. It is a children's book with no words. I looked at it and examined it three times all the way through thinking how would I do this and it's about a little girl who gives flowers that she finds on the side of the road and her father who isn't paying any attention is just walking back home from the green grocer with her daughter and I finally come to the conclusion that I'm not going to be able to do it without giving the little girl a name. I don't have to name anybody else, but I'm going to give the little girl the name Tot. T-O-T. -T, Tot. And I will read the back, which I was just about to do this, and then I found out there is an explanation on the back of the book. Uh, which I saw nowhere else um, except for the last minute but this here's the book it's called sidewalk flowers there it is sidewalk flowers <laughs> that's it and there's a lot of things going on and I read the back of the book and it tells um, that the book was done I think by a poet so here is the back side if you can see that picture I hope so I'll read it and then I will give my interpretation of sidewalk flowers. Their interpretation is partly what I agree with and partly different. But anyway, I will read what they said. Here we go. Uh, I've been wanting to do this book for a while and it's, I really had to study it. And I always seem to pick the books that are different. First one I've ever picked one, I think, that has no words. Okay, so they do have an explanation, and here it is on the back side. A little girl collects wildflowers while on a walk with a distracted father. Incidentally, it's mostly phone calls that he's talking on the phone. Each flower becomes a gift, and whether the gift is noticed or ignored, both giver and recipient are transformed by their encounter. In other words, something special happens when she gives a flower. This wordless picture book, conceived by award-winning poet John Arnold Lawson, and beautifully brought to life by the illustrator artist Sidney Smith, is an ode to the important of small things. Small people and small gestures. And let's get started. Here we go. I have to set the camera up for sidewalk flowers. Now, if you bear with me, I will have to reposition the camera. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now, this is the way I did it before. I had to turn a page or two. Turn on a little extra ambient light. There. Almost done here. We'll try to line it up with the camera and 
this just bear with me I probably will have to zoom this out a bit a bit more a bit more it's about the best I can do and I hope it will stay in the position yeah here we go that's it okay now I will need to look at the camera screen so if you bear with me while I turn on the camera screen there we go okay now I'll give it a go, as they say, you know. Here we go. The Wordless Book. Sidewalk Flowers. Tot has a little red coat on. And everything starts out in black and white at first. So here we go. Let's see how far I can go without my head being in the picture. Oh dear, oh dear seems too far away let's see if I can see it with my glasses oh yeah okay here we go the wordless sidewalk flowers there we go sidewalk flowers there's the beginning of it and here we go Tot and her father went one day to the green grocer. Tot's father needed to get something for her mother. So they go downtown and they go walking down the sidewalk as they are coming close to the green grocer. As we see, this is an interesting town. It is a regular town. It is a normal town. There's pigeons flying around three-story buildings like the town I live in but notice everything is black and white except for Tot she's got a little red coat on her father's preoccupied like the back of the book said there they go he holds her hand they walk through the traffic she looks up and sees a man with tattoos on her arm on his arms she looks through a window and sees a woman in a car then they stop at the intersection. He holds her hand so she uh, won't get hit by a car. So they move along. and I can't describe every frame, but I'll try to do most of them. Here it is, his first phone call. Tot is still looking around. Tot is still looking around. Tot sees flowers in the sidewalk. Tot picks the flowers. The flowers are in color. Aha! If you can see that. Yeah. Right here. There by the green grocer. All of a sudden all the fruit is in color as Tot smells the flower. But this is where they must have went because now Dad has the bag with bread out coming out of it and he's got stuff from the green grocer and the fruit and they're going back home and there they go. Now the taxis are yellow. We're getting a little color here. Black and white again. So now they're continuing to walk downtown. A man walks his dog. Tot's father is continuing to walk ahead. Ah, Tot looks up and sees another flower. She wants the flower. It's growing out of a crack. It's a pretty flower. Dad waits. Tot gets the flower. Tot smells the flower. Oh, the flower smells so good, thinks Tot, while her father is preoccupied. 
And now we have a double page spread of one picture. And I just hope the whole width of this. Uh, I got the whole width. I just hope it catches it all. As we see, there's people waiting at the bus. All kinds of people. Some don't seem to care. <laughs> Some are looking at Tot. And her father has got another phone call. And he's preoccupied. Tot is climbing up this hill because she sees another flower close to the fence way up there. Again, growing in between some kind of sidewalk blocks. She picks some more flowers. Here at the bus stand, some people are looking at Tot. A woman is reading a book. Another one doesn't look like she cares. This guy here looks like he could be Jewish. This guy's a musician. He's holding a musical instrument. Yes, there's all kinds of people. And not only that, here comes the bus. Let me see if my finger uh, comes in here. Yep, so I guess it's in the picture, I hope. Here comes the bus. Aha! Now they go by another store. This time, it's all kinds of ornaments for your shelves. Glass vases, globes. Again, some are in color, and Tot's got more flowers. Ah, but there's something different about this store. There's a cat inside of the store. Tot is looking at the cat, and the cat is looking at Tot, and the father is preoccupied. Preoccupied. He has another phone call. Yes, sir. One thing about this is when I go downtown a few years ago, there was a cat that lived in a store like this. They kept the cat in the store. And they only took the cat home on weekends. The cat slept at night in the store. Sometimes at night I would look through the window like that. At night. And the cat would be awake. And the cat would look at me. And the cat would play games with me. And the cat would climb on the windowsill and follow me across the window. And the door also had see-through glass. And the cat would jump up and try to scratch the glass. The cat would try to get to me. And I had a good time. I sure did miss it when one day they took the cat home. And it was never in the store again. But that is just like this. Some people do keep their cats in stores downtown. Again, they, they continue to head home. Here's a guy who could be a bum, but Tot sees a flower growing from a crack. So she grabs the flower. She has another flower. A guy from a bakery or a restaurant is taking a break outside. He's looking at Tot. Here's a man with his finger in the air. And we don't know why. But she better hurry because her, her father is getting ahead of her. So now she's walking fast to catch up to her father. But she stops. She sees another flower in the crack. So she grabs the flower. But she's nearly caught up to her father because there he is. He's got another phone call talking again. He must uh, be a businessman, perhaps. Perhaps he's talking business. So there she is. Now Tot has her eyes closed. She's dreaming of something. We don't know what she's dreaming about. But she's smelling the pretty flowers. Dad has a sack from the green grocer. Here's the bread. 
he's heading home and they're still walking walking downtown it seems like it's in black and white again now they've left downtown here's the end of downtown they've crossed the street obviously they got to go through the park to go home there is the park there is the park. There they are, walking down a trail through the park. On the side is some joggers walking down the sidewalk. Hoop dee ta, hoop dee ta, hoop dee ta, hoop dee ta, hoop dee ta. There they go. Jog, 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 jog. There goes the joggers. Hoop dee ta, ha, hoop dee ta, ha, ha. And there they go. So let's see where Tot and her father goes. Like I said, I could not do this story without giving the girl a name. It just did not work. Uh-oh. Tot sees something bad. There's a bird. It died and it's laying on the sidewalk. Tot feels sorry for the bird. Tot lets go of Dad's hand and Tot squats to look at the bird then Tot puts flowers on the bird like she gave it a little funeral now the bird is in color and the flowers are in color and Tot is behind again and has to catch up to dad here we go they're still going so now they're still in the park there's a bum sleeping on the park. Tot figures that if she gives the bum some flowers, it might make him feel better. And the bum is in color. And Tot sticks flowers in his shoes. And then she continues with her father as they leave the park. Notice more things are in color as Tot moves along and gives her flowers out more things are turning in color. Now, Tot shakes hands with a dog. She smiles and looks at the dog. And the dog can see that this girl's giving me attention and this girl likes me and this girl's smiling. And not only that, this girl put flowers in the dog's collar. Tot leaves. The dog looks at the girl. The dog liked Tot. And as we see, now they're entering the neighborhood where they're going to be going home. The grass is green. Even the sign has color. And this sign has color. There's more color. Color. Everywhere color. Here's the neighborhood where they live. Here's the houses. They're all in color. Here's Dad. Here's Tot. And here's some neighbors waving. Hello. Hello, Tot. Hello. They're on the front porch. They're waving. They're getting close to home. Yes, they are. If you don't believe me, here she is. Here is Tot. And let's see if my finger... Okay, so it's in the screen. And they live up there too. And she has to climb the stairs. And who is that impatient woman looking up there with the cat? It's Tot's mother. She climbs the stairs. And Mom gives Tot a big hug. Dad gives Mom a kiss. Tot goes through the front door. Tot leaves at the back door. Where is Tot going now? Tot is in the backyard. Tot's brother and baby is in the backyard. Tot puts flowers on her brother's head. Tot puts flowers around the sleeping baby sitting there taking a snooze in a baby carriage. Tot has also got the attention of Tot's mother. She sees Tot and she sees what Tot's doing. Tot's mother is amused. 
Dad is taking the vegetables out of the sack. Tot is continuing on to the end of the yard. They have a nice yard and everything is in color now. Color, color. There used to be an old Disney TV show, The Wonderful World of Color. That's the way it started. And in their, in their backyard, they've got birds in their trees, squirrels, and a birdhouse. They have a nice backyard, a very nice backyard. Now Tot looks up. She looks up and she sees birds. And now, last of all, Tot thinks of herself and puts a flower in her hair. And then she continues to walk. Where is Tot going now? Aha! Uh -huh. She finds a whole field full of flowers. What will she do now? There's flowers everywhere. Tot will be picking more flowers for sure. And Tot will hopefully make somebody else's life a little happier. This ends the book of Sidewalk Flowers. Here we go. Side walk flowers. Well, I hope you liked the book. This was the only way I knew to do it. Was to give that little girl a name. So that I could tell you what was going on with the pictures I saw. That was the little thing I needed. I needed to call her Tot. And she said a lot even though she never said a word. This ends Sidewalk Flowers. I hope it turned out. I hope you like it. This ends Sidewalk Flowers.